there's so much chaos in the world. There's so much division. And are you thinking that we're already living in the end times? I believe uh, we're not just in the end times. I believe we're in the end of the end times. Uh, and Jesus, in his sermon regarding the end times, uh, spoke about all the things that we're seeing now, right? The crazy weather patterns, the wars and the rumors of wars, and a long list of signs that he gave us. Uh, he said that all these are the beginning of labor pains in Matthew 24. I'm convinced that a page in prophetic history was turned on May 14, 1948, when Israel was reinstated as a nation. This is a prophecy that was offered uh, many times in the Old Testament and fulfilled on that day. What a remarkable, what a remarkable event. How many other nations have been kicked out of their homeland, Israel twice, and then returned to their homeland, Israel twice? As we point out several times in the book, many of the end times prophecies require Israel existing as a nation, which it does, it does. And so I believe that we are in a unique era of history. Now we do not know when Christ is going to return, but I do believe that we would be wise during these days to just pay attention, uh, to keep our eyes up, we don't need to freak out, but we do need to keep our hearts soft as we're anticipating entering into this unique time in human history.